Hello, Storytime friends. Here's another new way for us to do a video, and I have some fun stories and even a fun song to share with you this morning. And we're going to start with this book that is very colorful and very fun called Grumpy Bird. This is Grumpy Bird by Jeremy Tankard. When Bird woke up, he was grumpy. He was too grumpy to eat. He was too grumpy to play. In fact, he was too grumpy to fly. Looks like I'm walking today, said Bird. Mm, what a face. Bird walked past sheep. Good morning, Bird, said sheep. What are you doing? Walking, said Bird. Nice, said sheep. I'll keep you company. Bird walked past Rabbit. Hi there, Bird, said Rabbit. What are you doing? I'm walking, said Bird. It's no fun. I can use some exercise, said Rabbit. I'll walk too. Bird walked past Raccoon. Hey, Bird, said Raccoon. What are you doing? I'm walking, snapped Bird. What does it look like? It looks like fun, said Raccoon. I'm coming too. Bird walked past Beaver. Hello, Bird, said Beaver. What are you doing? Let me give you a hint, said Bird. You do it by placing one foot in front of the other. Walking, guessed Beaver. I love walking. Bird walked past Fox. Good day, Bird, said Fox. What are you doing? Why does everyone want to know what I'm doing? shouted Bird. I'm just walking, okay? Okay, said Fox. Let's go. Bird walked. The other animals walked. Bird stopped. The other animals stopped. Bird stood on one leg. The other animals stood on one leg. Bird jumped. The other animals jumped. Hey, this is fun, said Bird. Come on, said Bird, who had forgotten all about being grumpy. Let's fly back to my nest for a snack. Look, they're all flying now. And they did. What is bird serving? Do you think these other animals want to eat a worm for a snack? I know I'd rather have cookies and milk or maybe a granola bar. How about you? So that's Grumpy Bird. And I have some other fun animal stories. This one is called, But No Elephant by Jerry Snap. Grand Matilde lived all alone. She worked hard every day. She had no time to play. You know anybody like that? One day, a man came to her house. He was selling pets. Would you like to buy a canary bird? Asked the man. Very well, said Grandma Tildy, but no elephant. Grandma Tildy was cooking stew. The bird wanted to help, so he sang a song for her. It made Grandma Tildy happy. That night they sat down to eat stew together, and it tasted better than ever before. The next day the pet man came again. Would you like to buy a beaver? He asked. Very well, said Grandma Tildy, but no elephant. Grandma Tildy needed firewood. The beaver wanted to help. The beaver cut the wood with his sharp teeth. That night they sat in front of a warm fire. Grandma Tildy went shopping. She met the pet man again. Would you like to buy a turtle, he asked. Very well, she said, but no elephant. Grandma Tildy was tired. The turtle wanted to help, so he carried her home on his back. I bet that was a slow trip. What do you think? That night, Grandma Tildy washed the turtle and put him to bed. The next day, it rained hard. The roof started to leak. Then someone knocked at the door. It was you-know-who. Would you like
like to buy a woodpecker? The pet man asked. Very well, said Grand Matilde, but no elephants. The woodpecker wanted to help, so he nailed the roof down tight. The dripping stuff. What helpful pets. That night, they all danced together in the warm, dry house. The days got colder and colder. Grandma Tildy put food in jars for the winter. I don't like the cold, she said. Just then, the pet man appeared. Would you like to buy an elephant, he asked. He's the only animal left, and I must leave before it snows. No, no elephants, shouted Grandma Tildy. She went back to her work. The pet man left. See her? I think she really needs it. No elephant. But the elephant stayed. It started to snow, and it kept on snowing. Poor elephant standing outside. And snowing, and snowing, and snowing. No elephant, said Grandma Tildy, but the elephant would not go. They could not see the elephant now, but they could hear him crying. They felt sad. Very well, called Grandma Tildy, you may come in. The elephant was as happy as could be. Look at how happy he is in the snow. But the elephant had a problem. He could not get through the door. So they all helped to push him inside. Oh dear, said Grandma Tildy. I hope the floor is strong. This is a very old house. Outside, the snow kept falling, but inside the house it was cozy and warm. Everyone hoped winter would go away and spring would come soon. That night, there was a terrible crash. The elephant had fallen through the floor. We cannot fix this, said Grandma. You will just have to stay there. The winter was long, and soon the firewood was gone. The elephant was always hungry. He kept eating and eating and eating until all the food was gone. We cannot leave or we will freeze, said Grandma Tildy. We cannot stay or we will starve. What are we to do? The elephant felt sorry. Then he thought of a way to help. He started to walk. Look at that. He walked and walked and walked and walked. Changed seasons, changed weather. When he stopped, they were in a warm, sunny place. Sounds good now in January, doesn't it? And that is where Grandma Tildy and her friends are today. And the banner says, Welcome Elephant. The end. Isn't that a funny story? Imagine if you had all those different pets. A canary bird is a usual pet, and sometimes a turtle, but definitely not an elephant or a woodpecker. Do you ever see woodpeckers outside? We have some that come to our bird feeders in our backyard, and they peck at the bird feeders the same way they peck at the trees, and it's really fun to watch. Uh, I have another story to read to you. This is uh, a Henry and Mudge story. And for those of you who uh, maybe are unfamiliar with Henry and Mudge, this is the same author as Poppleton, which is uh, one of the stories that is on Stories in the Cloud. And uh, this is about a little boy named Henry and his really big dog, Mudge. And there's lots of these, especially in the bins uh, for early readers. They're really fun. Sometimes they rhyme, but usually they're just in small sections. So kind of like chapters, it's an early style chapter book. So this is called Henry and Mudge and the Snowman Plan. Contest. This poster says Snowman Contest, Saturday at the park. On a snowy day in January, Henry and Henry's big dog Mudge saw a sign in the store window. It said Snowman Contest, Saturday at the park. A snowman contest, said Henry. Wow! Mudge wagged his tail. He always wagged his tail. When Henry said wow, it meant excitement. And sometimes it meant dessert. Henry ran home to tell his father. Henry's father was in the basement, painting a chair. He had green paint on his hair, across his nose, and in his mustache. Guess what, Dad, said Henry. Mudge was looking for a special old boot. You bet there. What? asked Henry's father. 
he wiped some paint across his chin. There's a snowman contest on Saturday, said Henry. Snowman contest, said Henry's father. He wiped some paint on his ears. Wow! Can we go, asked Henry. Sure, said Henry's father. He wiped some paint on his elbow. Henry looked at his father. Henry looked at the chair. Dad, I think that chair has been painting you, said Henry. Henry's dad looked at himself in an old mirror. He had green hair, a green nose, a green mustache, a green chin, green ears, and a green elbow. Henry's dad looked at Henry. He said, you should see me when I paint a house. At the park. On Saturday, Henry and Henry's father, Henry's big dog Mudge, went to the park. There were many people there. All of the people had things. They had shovels and spoons. They had hats and shoes. They had rocks and carrots and marbles and broccoli. Broccoli, said Henry to his father. See, look, he's the one with broccoli. And of course, they all had dogs. It looks more like a wagging contest to me, said Henry's father. Mudge wagged and wagged. Henry and his dad had already made their snowman plans. They looked at each other. They shook hands. Good luck, break a leg, and don't let the bed, bed bugs bite, said Henry's father. They got to work. While Henry and his father built their snowman, Mudge visited. He visited a poodle. He visited a husky. He visited a dachshund who didn't want to visit him. Then he found a carrot to chew on. A chihuahua helped him chew it. Mudge finished his half first. There's the little chihuahua. It looked like the chihuahua might finish hers sometime in July. Mudge wagged and gave her a kiss. Oh, look at all the fun snowmen. This chapter's called Snow Aliens. By three o'clock, all of the snowmen were ready for the judges. Henry and his father looked around the park. There's lots of interesting things. There were snow people, there were snow cats, there were snow dogs, there were snow aliens. And one person had built a snow Abraham Lincoln. Wow, said Henry. The judges walked all around. Henry was feeling nervous. He held Mudge's collar. Holding Mudge's collar always helped when Henry was nervous. I hope they like ours, Henry said. Me too, said Henry's dad, holding Mudge's collar on the other side. Look at that snowman. What do you think it is? Finally, the judges arrived. They looked carefully at the snowman Henry and his father had built. They looked at the front. They looked at the back. They looked all around. Finally, one of them asked, what is it? It's my dad when he's painting a chair, said Henry. The judges looked again and laughed and laughed. Mudge wagged and drooled on their boots. Ah, these pages are sticking together. When the winners were announced, first place went to Abraham Lincoln. Second place went to a snow leopard. And third place went to the snowman with paint in his mustache. Yay, yelled Henry. Henry and Henry's father proudly looked at their prizes. One was a purple ribbon. It said, third place winner, most original snowman. And the other prize was a big box of snowman cookies. I sure am glad you're a messy painter, Dad, said Henry. I'm an even messier eater, said Henry's father. And he and Henry and Henry's big dog, Mudge, took their prizes home and made a wonderful cookie mess. They are definitely messy eaters, aren't they? So this is just a sampling of some books that you can find here at the library. All of these are in the kids section. And then this is a book um, from my personal collection called The Eensy Weensy Spider. And we're gonna sing this one and I will put the words up also so you can learn all of the verses. There are lots of verses to this song. The eensy weensy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. 
and the incy wincy spider went up the spout again. The incy wincy spider got up one day in spring. She stretched out all her legs and she began to sing. Lo, sang the spider, it's such a lovely day. And the incy wincy spider went skipping out to play. The incy wincy spider met a baby bug. I said the spider and gave the bug a hug. Ugh, said the bug, your hug is much too tight. I'm sorry, said the spider, I meant to be polite. The incy wincy spider went swimming to get cool. Out, croaked the frog, no spiders in my pool. Please, begged the spider, I'd really like to swim. So the frog allowed the spider to swim along with him. The incy wincy spider was in a big parade. Boom, banged the drums, the trumpets loudly played. March, roared the leader, just listen to the beat. But the incy wincy spider kept tripping on her feet. The incy wincy spider fell down and scraped her knees. Ouch, cried the spider, I need some band-aids, please. How many, asked her mama, I only have a few. Said the incy wincy spider, six of them will do. The incy wincy spider fell plop into the brook. Help, yelled the spider, I forgot to look. Reach, called the beetle, that's what you must do. And the beetle lent the spider a helping leg or two. The incy wincy spider went out to buy some shoes. Well, said her mama, which ones will you choose? Those chose the spider, the red ones over there. Said her mama to the salesman, we'd like to buy three pair. The incy wincy spider went walking in the park. Down went the sun, the park got very dark. Boom, squeaked the glowworm, follow me, I pray. And the incy wincy spider went safely on her way. The incy wincy spider had a heavy head. It's late, said her mama, time to go to bed. The spider was so tired, she didn't make a peep. And the incy wincy spider soon fell fast asleep. The incy wincy spider slept right through the night. When she awoke, the sun was shining bright. Good, said the spider, there isn't any rain. And the incy wincy spider went up the spout again. Isn't that fun? Did you know there were all those verses to that song? I didn't until my oldest daughter got this book from her aunt and we had lots of fun learning all those words. So that's story time for today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to next Friday and we will be doing some things with Groundhogs and Groundhog Day next Friday. And next Friday I will also make sure that there is a kit with some crafty things for you to do at home. There isn't one this week because we are working on learning new video techniques. But next week there will be a craft. Um, if you want one of those, please email me or sign up on the Sign Up Genius buttons on our website. Uh, my email is SheratonLibraryKit at gmail.com. And if you have any questions or you want to reserve a kit for next week, let me know so I know how many to make. And in the meantime, hope you have a super Friday and a super weekend. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye!